Today, I'm going to be answering the question, do native finches actually need live food? And in short, the answer is no. However, there are exceptions and there are reasons as to why you should feed live food, which I'm going to be answering in today's video. Now, most native finches don't need live food. That's like red poles, bullfinches, green finches, siskins. They don't need live food, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't offer it to them because they do very much enjoy it. Um, a good advantage to actually feeding live food is the high in protein, they're good for the birds and it's sort of closer to the natural diet. However, they can quite comfortably, as you've already seen, rear on just egg food and like my mix, which will be somewhere up here if you haven't already seen that, just something like my mix of egg food they can rear on. Now, there are exceptions to this, like I said earlier. What birds actually do need live food? And um, I'm going to go through just a few hard bills which need live food. Take it that generally all native soft bills are going to need live food, and that's not just native soft bills, that might also be foreign soft bills as well, and some foreign hard bills. But for the native finches, the native hard bills, what do? Well, the answer is chaffinches, brambles, yellow hammers or any other type of bunting and hawfinches. Uh, chaffinches and brambles, I've bred chaffinches and they required a lot of live food. We saw that last year and they really do need that if they're going to rear successfully. Also, yellow hammers. Yellow hammers or any bunting generally requires live food if you want to breed them. Um, they just it's just closer to the natural diet and they just haven't adapted as well to captivity as some birds like the red poles for example or the canaries the brambles very similar to the chaffinch so same again goes and then hawfinches hawfinches require live food unless you are hand rearing and i must say this is across the board with them if you are hand rearing you don't have to offer live food but um you can try if you want but instead what you do need is a suitable hand rearing formula that's actually going to give the youngsters everything that they need so that is on live food now what live food do i feed well i feed mainly mealworms i've got mealworms in here and just to show you i've got half a kilo in here i store my live food my mealworms in the fridge Obviously, lower temperatures means it's just going to be slower growth for these guys. So um, ultimately, they're not going to be turning into the sort of chrysalis and then the actual beetles. Now, hopefully, and you'll see in a video quite soon, I am going to be trying to breed some mealworms. So we're going to start up a, a mealworm breeding setup. And the idea of that is, is just to supply myself with mealworms to dish out between the birds. Now, the young birds very enjoy the live food. And I must say as well, if you are looking at breeding chaffinches, brambles, buntings or crossbills, obviously one type of uh, live food isn't going to be adequate enough. So I'm just offering mealworms to everything in here because I don't currently have anything that 100% requires live food. But I would recommend you get um, mealworms, you need probably waxworms, calci worms um, and, and I'm sure there's plenty of other things maybe fruit fly cultures I've seen um, and obviously these birds are never going to say no to a, a, a nice juicy mealworm or any live food but uh, they simply just don't require it now if you are breeding something that does require it I would recommend obviously the, the mixed diet like I've just said with a different offering of different amounts uh, and different insects and live food um, but ultimately, um, it, you know, you don't have to if you're bringing something like this. Now, for birds that do also require uh, live food, not only do I offer just live food to them, but I also like to offer sort of a, a, an insect-based egg food, like a, a soft bill sort of egg food or a soft bill mix. And that's just good for those birds. It's increased protein levels and it's um, a bit closer to what they eat in the wild. So I hope that answers the question for you. I hope you found this video useful if you have please hit subscribe down below and leave us a like thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one